here with Simon at the ZWO booth, and we have some new products to share with everybody today. Can yeah, you tell us a little I mean, bit about them? We had a little, little look at the Sea Star, but you know, we have a few other products here this year as well, and uh, we can just walk through those for you. Uh, so the first up is the ASI uh, 585 Air. So this is a color one-shot camera. Um, a lot of people will be familiar with the 2600 MC right. Air that we bought out. Air is, uh, if you're unfamiliar with uh, the concept, is basically the uh, construction is including the main sensor, a guide sensor, and an ASI Air as well, all in one little uh, in one little box. And um, the idea of this is to create a lightweight, uh, compact camera combination. So if you're a lightweight imager taking you know telescopes out into the field. Um, yeah, that's the concept. For Saves you, you yeah. all of that yeah. extra less weight. cables, less, easy to set up and um, and easy to use. Um, the 585 is a sort of um, next generation of the air cameras in that we've been focusing over the last sort of year or so on the APS-C size uh, sensors, but nothing in the smaller range mm -hmm. for um, you know uh, sort of lower sort of price range. Can we take a look at the sensor real quick? Yeah. Okay, so this is the okay. square sensor, yeah, and it has a the secondary sensor yeah. for guiding as yeah. well. Uh, so uh, yeah, so the um, five eight five MC uh, Air basically is that sort of you know combination of main sensor and the guider sensor, and it's an on axis uh, combination. Right. You know, normally you would have a guide scope as a separate item with a separate guide camera. Um, or you would have maybe an off-axis guider, you know, taking the light out from the light path into a sort of right angle. Right. Um, this is slightly different. It's on-axis guiding, which means the light comes down the telescope path directly and straight into the sensor, which is actually a more accurate way of doing it. Right, you get it. the full benefits of the full focal length of yeah. the telescope to track on yeah. and the lack of like interference caused by uh, an off-axis guider that might mess yep. up potentially your image or something. Yep. So, and that's actually um, what you know, one of the little features in here is this little silver knob in here, which is actually a, a micro focuser uh, oh, wow. for the guide chip. You know, because one of the challenges will be to you know keep things par focal. Yep. So the way that you would do this is to focus the main telescope with the main sensor, and then give the little uh, you know the little uh, micro focuser a tweak to bring the uh, guide camera that's to cool. focus. That's cool. Um, Everything else on the back here, we've got an uh, antenna uh, for the Wi-Fi. Uh, power outlets, now the 585 uh, is actually in a four-third size body instead of the APS seat size. So it's actually uh, you know, a much more compact mm -hmm. unit and a much lighter unit. Um, it only has two power connections on the back for 12 volts, one in and a spare 12 volt outlet. But being that there's not a whole lot yeah, you have, exactly. what do you really need it yeah, for, right? Not a lot else. And I'll show you something in a minute that's sort of heading into that sort of wireless world to make that even easier. Uh, we've got a USB hub and a Type-C, which is actually used for data connection. Um, one of the things in here, although this has got an ASI Air in it, they're actually alpaca capable. So Ascom alpaca, um, you know, means that you can actually access the cameras wirelessly. Okay. And still get access to the sensor, both the main sensor and the guide chip too. So uh, much lower cost than the 2600. So great value in terms of having the integrated camera at a good price. Also really high performer because of that 585 chip. Now for like planetary imaging, would this be, a, a, because we have a smaller sensor now, a yeah. little bit more in tune with that? Actually the 585's got quite a fast frame rate, so much faster than the 2600. So if you're into planetary imaging, a lunar or solar, then that would actually be a good all rounder actually. Right, right. So you get that kind of dual purpose, a hybrid if you will, between a planetary camera and something that's more dedicated to deep sky astrophotography. So that's yeah. a great product. Um, what else do you got here? Yeah, so, okay, so we were talking about reducing that cable mass. Uh, so these have a little hidden feature up them, which is they've got Bluetooth inside. Oh, cool. So if you have an AM5N, you can connect to the uh, ASI Air using Bluetooth. So that's another cable another gone. cable, yeah. So what would be the next step? Well, <laughs> the focuser. Yep. Yeah. So we've just released uh, this uh, EAF Pro. 
So the EAF Pro, it looks like a standard EAF focuser, it's right. the same body style and with the same uh, connections. However, inside uh, we have a Bluetooth connection. So now you can, if you have an air camera or if you have an ASI 256G, one of the later models without the SD card, that has Bluetooth built in as Got well. It. So uh, you can connect uh, wirelessly to the focuser. So another cable gone. Right. Still got power though. Yep. This has a battery in now. So we have a battery internally in here. And uh, we've added a couple of focus buttons as well because if you're a lunar or a planetary imager, you might want to do some- Or you're just out there focus. and want to be able to quickly be able to make the changes sure. without having to deal with your screen, right? Or maybe you're a visual astronomer who wants a little bit of finer tuning control. Without, on, say, without ruining your night vision. Yep. Right, yep. Okay. So uh, USB charged as well. How many and hours on a charge? Somebody asked me that yesterday, and that's an interesting question. It's a good, good, good one to ask. Is it has a 2,500 milliamp hour battery? The how long will it last depends on how, how much, much focusing you, you're doing. You're focusing, <laughs> right? Uh, so if you do a couple of focus runs to get ready, and then you know a focus run every hour or so, you could run all night on it. Yeah. And uh, but it has a USB capability to charge it if you need to, which is yep. part of the yep. camera. Yep. So. It's not really an issue. It's nope, just a you nice could thing keep to have. Charging it. So, really? uh, great cool. thing is, it's the same format. So, if you want to retrofit one of these to a telescope that you already have an EAF on, it's two screws and nice. basically the uh, screw in the collar and change it out. Cool. All righty. And I think, think the last thing is um, going back the other way now. So, we went small format with the 585. Um, one of the things that when we brought the 2600 MC Air out, there was a cry went up, can, hey, can we get a monochrome mono. version? Yep. Well, here we go. There it is. 2600 MC Air goes mono. We now have a mono version. Everything about the camera, everything about it is exactly the same as the 2600 mm. Uh, it's a series. great camera, lots, of, lots yeah. of really good. And the features on the uh, camera are exactly the same as the 2600 MC Air, uh, but with the 57110 chip. So, and that'll be out, I think, end of April as well. Same features as we just discussed, micro focuser, yep. two sensors. Yep, absolutely. Just a different sensor as the just, main one. Yep. Is, the, is the secondary guide sensor the same one yep. as we just talked it about? It is, it's the same chip as the, it's the SCA220. So this is the guide chip that's in the uh, ASI220 mini guide camera. Absolutely the best guide, you know, all round guide camera that we've got right now. Perfect. Very good. Well, thank yeah. you so much for this. Yeah, um, great. Some awesome lots new lots products. Of things, yeah. Lots of things to talk about. All of this new technology of the wireless coming to your telescope now, and it's very much a breath of fresh air because I know the rat's nest of wires is yeah. the astrophotography's worst nightmare. That's right. And you guys are taking care of that problem. Less cable snags, which is better for us on the support line as well. Right. We don't the like integration and the overall uh, form factor just getting smaller, more compact, more capable. Um, but then scalable too. It's wonderful. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. No worries. All right. Take care, everybody. If you're still watching and like videos like this one, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. Memberships start as low as $3 per month, with benefits including opportunities to ask questions of our guests. Also, please consider to like, subscribe, and share this video to help us bring the universe even closer than you think.